Rugby league legend Manu Vituvi has announced that he was accused of importing, possessing and supplying methamphetamine before his name was banned. Video Manu Vituvi Leon Menzi's former rugby league star and TV personality Manu Vituvi will be released from prison later this month and will take a role as a mentor in the Warriors volunteer. Vituvi, 37, was sentenced to three years and seven months in 2022 for importing methamphetamine, but will be released on special terms on May 31st, following the parole board hearing today. Two years after retiring from rugby league just months after winning Dancing with the Stars, he was charged with importing, possessing and supplying methamphetamine in September, October-November 2021. Vituvi later pleaded guilty without a single representative charge of importing a Class A drug. His brother Lopin Ilautau Mafe also pleaded guilty to the same crime. Manu Vituvi, along with attorney Vivian Fayan, arrives at the Manukau District Court to be sentenced. Photograph Greg Bowker, One Warriors CEO Cameron George told Newstalk ZB that Vituvi has the potential to return in a mentoring role for the players. George admitted that Vituvi made some terrible mistakes, but paid the appropriate penalties. He assured that the Warriors would not turn a blind eye to these mistakes. George believed he could provide assistance in Vituvi's rehabilitation by allowing him to voluntarily share his story with other players. I think it helps both Manu and the children have a better future, said George. And if we can prevent someone from making the same mistakes by helping Manu do that, I think it's great for everyone. He's not sure what the actual terms of Vituvi's parole are, and there's no specific timeline for when he'll take on this new role. He confirmed they would work regardless of the conditions of his parole and said Vituvi would not be returning to the club full-time. When asked how he thinks this will affect sponsorships, George said they were not the first club to facilitate such a program. We don't condone anything that happened in the past. We volunteer Manu to provide his story to help children understand, said George. Jason Paris, CEO of Warriors sponsor 1NZ, said he supported George and the club's decision in their decision to bring Vituvi back. If he can share his story with others and help them not fall into the same traps, that's a good thing, Paris said. Paris also said it understands that former professional rugby league and Warriors health manager Jerry Susu will be involved in Vituvi's volunteer role. Last year, Vituvi's sentence ended a two-year legal saga, including only 18 months, which he has been described as one of the biggest names in New Zealand sport for failing his fight for name suppression. Vituvi, whose full name is Manamapuhola Mafa Vituvi in court documents, was one of four people arrested in 2019 by the Manukau County's police and customs following a joint invest. 